Hey ladies, it's Saturday and I am finally here again. <laughs> Seems like today I'm looking back. Yeah, maybe tomorrow I'll see further than my little head allows me to. It has been a crazy couple of weeks, but I'm glad to be able to make another video for you guys. Um, I am going to give you a silent tour of my studio. Just wanted to let you guys see what I have been up to for the last two weeks while I have been too busy to watch videos or do my own for that matter. So um, I'm going to try to catch up as fast as I can and I uh, want to show you guys around. So bear with me, I'm trying to do this with my laptop uh, webcam. So. It is a little bit hard, so it's going to be a little broken up, and I'll just take what's good. Um, I'll give you a little subtitle so you know what you're looking at. So, here we go. So far we've gotten nothing but good reviews from all of our customers and they seem to perceive the shop in the exact same way that we were hoping that they would feel in here. Um, they seem to like how bright it is and that it's more um, artistic and clean. So, um, so yeah, that's a plus. Um, I hope you guys liked it. I hope I see some familiar faces in here if you guys want anything done. Uh, we've been pretty busy so far for this first week, just hoping to be busier and busier. John gave me these new piercings here. They're called dermal anchors, and they are my newest addiction. I got one on one day, and then I got the second one the next day, and I just want more and more, so I highly recommend trying them. We are doing them in the shop here, so if you are looking to get anything done, come on in and see me. Um, let's see, I think the first question that I was going to answer is Tara's question about ancestry and adoption. Um, my mom is doing the genealogy on her side of the family. I am very interested in my ancestry, but I don't have the time or energy to search it out and um, research it myself, so I'm letting her do all that fun work, <laughs> and when I get the time, I'm going to be delving into that and learning a lot more about my family. Right now, the most interesting thing that I've learned is that my granny, my great-grandma, was born on a Cherokee Indian reservation in Oklahoma in 1904 so I don't know how far back she's gotten I know it's past like World War One um, 
and I've had grandparents fight in all in both of those wars. My grandpa was a prisoner of war in World War II, so that's something kind of interesting, but it doesn't go back as far as yours, Tara. That's amazing. I can't believe you've gotten that far. Um, adoption. I think adoption is a very, very good thing for those kids that, um, that need a loving family. I myself have been able to have children since, <laughs> since way before I should have. Um, <laughs> so I haven't considered adoption for myself. Um, but I do think it is a very nice thing to do. I think for me it might be hard to deal with the, um, the issues of the unknown, like there could be some emotional scars from what they went through as children and just not knowing where those, like, could arise and what's actually, you know, been what that child has been through and what you're going to be dealing with raising them, that seems like something that would be really, really challenging in a family like that. But um, I'm all for adoption. I just don't think it's for me. I've got enough of my own as it is.